Yo! Welcome to another weekly news episode with your boy, Gaming with Mr. C. Gaming with Mr. C. Gaming with Mr. C. C. Alright guys, one of the hottest news titles coming out of this past week was that the Sony PS5 is finally updating their user interface and we got a first sneak peek out of it. For the first time in forever, Sony decided to sport a new user interface and I couldn't be any more excited. For those Xbox gamers out there, you're probably going to kind of be like, ah, oh, some of this seems a little familiar. It kind of reminds me of Apple and Android. Android does something and then 10 years later, Apple does it and it's like, oh, a gift from God. This really isn't any n n different here, uh, but as a gamer, this stuff is still exciting because no matter who did it, as long as us as the gamers have access to it, that's really a win-win, right? All right, guys. So the entire video is 11 minutes long. I'm not gonna bore you with all that information. I'm just gonna hit the highlights. So for instance, on the Xbox, you have the blade that pops over on the side. On the PlayStation 5 UI, it's gonna pop up from the bottom, uh, kind of like the Mac OS. And you're gonna have your quick hit items there, your friends, what they're doing, and the status of any downloads. And even from there, we have <clears throat> these cards is what they're calling them. The first one might be, uh, you can click on and be information and stories from the developer. Then you actually have these like activities, kind of think of like daily and weekly activities. And it'll show you the status of them, like 60%, and it'll also be how much longer to complete it, whether it be five or 10 or 15 minutes. You can also click on them and it'll jump you to that portion of the game. Uh, so this is kind of a new way of looking at gaming and it's integrated into the game versus off to the side like we've seen in the past. Uh, so I'm really interested to see how this is going to work out. Now, they make it sound like it's per the developer's choice. Uh, for instance, there's this new feature where you can, if you're stuck in the game, you can get some help. It'll pop up with a little video, give you 10, 15 seconds of uh, a clip instead of Googling it on your phone trying to find out. But again, this all sounds like it's up to the developer. So the use of it might be hit and miss, especially at first. Um, and really, when consumers take to it or don't take to it, I think it was when we're really going to see how much the developers are going to use it. One of the other things that I noticed uh, from this video was integration with your friends. It actually will pop up on the screen where you can join their group. You can actually do a picture in picture, kind of like the old Xbox Snap from the earlier days. But you can actually see what your friends are playing versus like a stream while you're playing your game. And that's actually pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited for that feature. Uh, Ultimately, when you're looking at this, it looks and feels next gen, which is, for the first time in a long time, uh, a big difference for PlayStation. I feel like since the PSP, PS3 era, the UI has basically been the same. And now this, even from the home screen where it pops up and it's got that Pulsate and PlayStation logo, it's the first time this actually feels refreshed and new and honestly feels next gen. Now, when you go back to the home screen, it still kind of has the same feel. Uh, except for it has an integrated store, which is amazing. Uh, I I've always enjoyed the Xbox style, how everything's built into one. I haven't always been a big fan of the tiles, but the fact that everything's accessible right there has always been a huge thing for me. And the fact that Sony, I think, is starting to head that way is awesome. And I cannot wait to get my hands on this in a few weeks. All right, guys. So some of the other information coming out of this past week was... Really for me, graphically, comparisons of this generation and this P PC generation to next generation as far as the Series X and PS5 go, one of the things is this picture of Gears 5 with ray tracing. And it, as you can tell, it just looks more realistic, more glossy. And supposedly the only difference here is the ray tracing. And when you kind of apply that theory to, you know, Gears 5 is a game from this generation. And now it does have a Series X update, but if you could do that just simply with ray tracing, imagine what we're going to see when we have games built from the ground up with 12 teraflops of power and ray tracing at their disposal. Uh, I'm pretty excited about that. Going into that, uh, NBA 2K came out with a video of its next-gen NBA 2K21. And when you look at this video, at first I was just kind of like, ugh. But when you see them side by side, you can really see the detail of the rim, the glossiness of the floor, the details of the player, and they look so much more lifelike than they ever have before. 
And it's always st stood true, even to this next generation, that sports games really are, are the standard when it comes to those day one games. I mean, this game just absolutely looks phenomenal, and I cannot wait to play it. All right, guys, so one of the other news items that have come out uh, over about the last month that I haven't really talked about yet on this show is Microsoft purchasing Bethesda for an insane amount of money, uh, which is not necessarily great for gamers. I do think that... Uh, because of this, we're going to see Elder Scrolls a little bit sooner because they're not going to have to build it on cross-platforms. Uh, but I do think it's great news for Xbox gamers, uh, especially since Phil Spencer has come out and said for this deal to work for Microsoft that they cannot release games multi-platform like they did Outer Worlds and even Minecraft, that they're going to have to really put these games on, this, on their own system exclusively. Uh, so I'm sure that that story is going to continue to grow over the next several years as we start to see... Uh, new Dooms, Fallouts, and even Elder Scrolls. Uh, speaking of Doom, uh, one of the other items that have come out recently is Load Times. And uh, I know Doom is new to the Game Pass, and on Next Gen, that game loads in under six seconds. So really, the power of SSD Drive is going to be phenomenal, and I think a huge proponent of this next generation. All right, guys, so some other news coming more directly to this show, Gaming with Mr. C., uh, going forward, uh, sometime in the next month, I'm going to try to introduce a new show uh, on this channel called Indie Tuesday, in which I break down and review indie games on every other Tuesday or so. It's really a way to spotlight some of the smaller games that everybody talks about. I'm talking about games like Tell Us Why, Battletoads, or even you know some uh, NBA Playground, some of the games that you're not going to see a whole lot of information on. So please uh, stay tuned for more information and let me know what you want to hear from Mr. C. Gaming with Mr. C. Gaming with Mr. C. Mr. C. Mr. C. Mr. C. Gaming with Mr. C. Gaming with Mr. C. 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 Mr.